So I'm Simon Clark from EF Trapac Cycling Team, and uh, we're here at the 2018 Lombardia, in uh, starting in Bergamo tomorrow. So uh, I grew up racing in Italy. I came here when I was 16. I raced all my junior and under 23 age groups with the Australian national team, which was based here in Italy. And for the the later six years of that period, I spent uh, in this area near near Como, where in, in the town called Varese, which is about 20k from Como. So I know a lot of the roads around Como and the final of, of Lombardy. So it's kind of a special race for me because it's on, I suppose, roads that I could nearly call home roads coming from Australia. This is probably uh, where I'd spent most of my time as a younger athlete trying to turn professional. So uh, I always love coming back and doing this race as a final race for the season. Can you talk a little bit about the role of road captain? How, how long have you had that role? And um, kind of describe like what that actually means. What that actually means. The biggest thing for me is, is like communication and teamwork. So just getting all the guys on the same page and, you know, even talking to guys like Mike Woods and Rigo and and convincing them that working together in a finish like that is actually advantageous, even though it feels like maybe we're not just riding for solely one rider. And that kind of personal relationship and communication I find is is really what helps a team uh, be on the front foot and, and try and uh, race for the win. So I've worked a lot with Woodsy and I've put a big effort in. I, I saw a huge potential uh, in his performance when we first raced together in his first World Tour race at, with this team in Tour Down Under in 2016. And, uh, you know, I just saw a guy that has an engine, but more importantly, he was willing to listen and willing to learn. And that is something that is really invaluable in the fact that you can have all the engine you want, but if you don't learn the trade and learn the tactics, uh, you're never going to be able to be successful in the top end of this sport. And, you know, I saw he had an engine, but the, the biggest thing I noticed was he was really w willing to learn and, and came into every situation with open ears and wanting to come out of every race a better bike rider. And so I really put a lot of effort in to help him guide him and, and explain, you know, 10 years of experience that he can do a crash course in and try and uh, try and you know take a shortcut in terms of that time to learn all those uh, characteristics of this sport and he's doing an amazing job I mean there's no way he could have ridden arrived uh, sprinting for the win in the world championships if he hadn't taken a lot of that stuff on board over the last three seasons and I think uh, the fact he was able to put himself into that position a couple of weeks ago in Austria was a merit to how much effort he's put into to learning the trade and listening to people that are willing to give him advice and, and really learning that stuff and you know, it's paying off already. We've been uh, working with your uh, business partner, Andrea. Uh, you're, you guys partnered on this uh, guide, guide business just last year. Yeah. Um, can you tell us a little bit about uh, yeah. how, how that came about? Yeah, so Andrea and I have started a, a, a cycling tours company called One More Ride. Uh, one More Ride dot com. One hyphen more hyphen ride dot com. Uh, and basically, I'd known Andrea for a long time. He's been in the tour guiding business for a long time. And uh, I'd done various work with him with previous companies that he'd worked for over the years. And we'd always, we got such great feedback from the clients on how well, how they, much they loved engaging with the pro cyclists, whether I was at the Giro and I came and spoke to the tour, that got the guys, that the clients they had there on the tour, on the Giro, or, any of those kind of races and we really said maybe we should build a specific package for this and, and really get myself involved and provide a cycling service that isn't really out there where uh, clients can come on tour with us uh, and get an inside experience to pro racing and professional knowledge and professional advice on, on how to ride and how to how to prepare and train and eat and everything that goes with cycling. And so 
it's it's really our motive to provide that professional aspect to cycling tours and, and guiding and really with Andrea's experience huge experience in guiding and and mine as professional cycling we really want to put those two together and uh, provide a, an interesting package for the enthusiast cyclist that either wants to come and follow a, a grand tour or, or some pro racing or do a ride of their own that I'm a part of and they can really gain some insight and uh, information on pro cycling. Uh, we were a broadcaster uh, for the Vuelta. Um, we saw your, your victory was, it seemed emotional for you. Yeah, what, what did that mean to you and, and for, your, for your career to, to get a Grand Tour stage win? Yeah, I mean, winning a Grand Tour stage is a very special opportunity. And although we do, if you add up the amount of Grand Tour stages we do, the fact that we do so many of them, you think, surely a couple of them you could win you know but they're so damn hard <laughs> and you know i've done the vuelta i think six times now and with coming there with very similar form to the form that i had this year and just trying time and time again and for whatever reason coming up short whether it was a little bit short or a long way short and to finally have everything go right on one day and really being able to deliver that uh, is very satisfying, particularly for all the times that it didn't work, that you go there with just as much desire to win, just as much preparation, if not even more, and you come up short, it, that really hurts. And to be able to cross that line first is really a victory for all those times that it didn't work out. And you know, you keep believing going, one day it's gonna work and you keep gotta keep believing in yourself. And when it does happen, it's a, it's a very special feeling because it really pays off for all that hard work, not just for that race or for that season, but really you know, a long-term effort that it takes to, to be at the top and, and keep chomping at the bit until it, until it works out.